Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a grand solar minimum update on Wednesday, July 11th, 11.16 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Holy haboob! Is that Jesus up in the window? I don't think so. This is the onset of the monsoon in epic fashion moving across Arizona just 36 hours ago. Super haboob. Are you picking up what we're putting down? That is the haboob. Welcome to the Grand Solar Miniboob. <laughs> it's not a mothership, Tyler. It's a haboob. Check it out. It's the haboob. Monsoon season in full effect. Massive haboob recorded. Hurricane force wind gusts. Hail. Record rain. Thank goodness. The fires are out. Monsoon conditions in the U.S. Southwest West are in full effect. Several large haboobs accompanied by hurricane force, wind gusts, hail, heavy rain have already been recorded sweeping through Arizona on July 8th, 9th, and 10th, 2018. Several rainfall records broken leading to localized flash floods, tourists washing away. National Weather Service warns that coverage of Showers and thunderstorms will increase across through the end of the week. I just checked the GFS. It's going to be moist as a fuck. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting what we need. Arizona Central, only 97. No, we don't. Let's just hit the X. Here we are. Another X. Whew. This is why dust storms are called haboobs. <laughs> Heads up. That's a great word. Passenger jet landing and taking off in the haboob. Phoenix, Arizona. In 1971, a group of scientists witnessed an Arizona dust storm so huge that they proposed calling it a haboob, the term used in the infamous dust storms of Sudan. So it all goes back to those idiots. <laughs> yes, it's true. I double-checked. According to Wikipedia, a haboob in Arabic, translating to haboob, Literally, a blasting or drifting, a type of intense dust storm. This looks just like what we looked at. That's a haboob right there. An intense dust storm carried on an atmospheric gravity current. If you don't know how to use Wikipedia, just ho hover over the blue and it will tell you. In fluid dynamics, a gravity current is a primarily horizontal flow in a gravitational field driven by a density difference. Hence, gravity currents also sometimes being referred to as density currents. When a gravity current propagates along a plane of neutral buoyancy within a stratified ambient fluid. Whew. Heads up. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. A lot of knowledge coming out of the haboob. A variety of hazards from western monsoon to upper Midwest severe storms to return of heat for some, including those in Iowa. You're totally burning up in Iowa. Heads up. Burning alive. Missouri, yes. Also, we have some of Nebraska. Check out Des Moines, Iowa. Heat advisories for everybody. And it's only 79 degrees. Yeah, because it's um, midnight. <laughs> That's pretty warm for Iowa. Boom! A variety of hazards will impact the U.S. for the next few days, including flash flood warnings and watches in the entire Haboob region. Totally Haboob down there due to cosmic ray Haboobing. In our region, we have flash flood warnings and watches northern New Mexico, including this area over here, which we never see rain, northern and central New Mexico. We're going to be seeing heavy rain. Heavy rain starting tomorrow and continuing for the next several days. It's totally awesome. I don't have to water anymore. Elevated monsoonal moisture with diurnal heating will result in heavy rainfall, flash flood concerns over the southwest and Four Corners region, meaning that our road may be blocked by mudslides, but my crops are going to be prolific. And that is all I care about. <laughs> I don't need to get to town. It's for suckers. Meanwhile, an active upper jet will fuel thunderstorms across the upper Mississippi Valley through Thursday. Finally, heat advisories return to a large portion of the Midwest. If you want to know more, click this button. There'll be links down below. Wild weather coming to your way as snow, hail, and thunderstorms are forecast for Australia. Hey, bomb, I thought you said it was going to be hot.
Apparently not. It's snowing in Australia, and that's the facts. Snow, hail, and thunderstorms are all in the forecast mix for Orange on Thursday. According to weatherzone.com AU and the bomb, snow is possible above 1,000 meters in the Orange area. With Orange altitude of 863 meters, it's unlikely any snow will fall in the city. But almost 1,400 meters, the summit of Canabolas, along with higher slopes, is in with a good chance of a heavy fall, and everyone's celebrating. They hate Al Gore, and that's boom. Wild weather coming your way. Oh, we just did that one. <laughs> Snow hits peak of Mount Macedon, and that's not in Macedonia. Heads up, but there are peacocks, and that's today's 37th boom. Whew. Peacocks in Macedon. Residents of Mount Macedon woke to the white carpet this morning after snow hit overnight. Did you hear, kids? No, because they won't tell you on the mainstream media. According to the bomb, there's going to be no snow ever. Al Gore is their buddy. Three of the four centimeters still on the ground this morning, according to Top of the Range Tea Rooms owner, Luke Chapman. It's really cold up here today. So it's sticking around for longer than it normally does, he said. You wouldn't expect that in a warming world, would you? No, because the world isn't warming, it's cooling. No matter what they say... You can pick up what we're putting down. Yes, that strange blip is because the powers that be are monitoring us. I said it. They're watching. You can suck it. The mountaintop is busy with families enjoying the dusting. He's seen a few small snowmen and even some optimistic tobogganers said the peacock. <laughs> Man, I love my job. It's called being self-sufficient and waking up in the morning and working hard to grow my own food and get off-grid as soon as possible. Japan floods, death toll rises to 176 as Abe visits affected areas. A lot of you probably think that said Abe because it's not Lincoln. He's not visiting. But the mud visited these cars... Small little Japanese things now totally buried in debris. Probably radioactive. Landslides and flooding caused a torrential rain in Japan have killed another 21 people in what has become one of the deadliest nas national disasters to hit the country since the earthquake and tsunami of 2011. Totally Fukushima them. A total of 176 people have been killed in the downpour began la late last week. The smallest, the most underreported number of deaths ever by a country in history. I'm suspecting thousands are dead from this flooding. Japanese Chief Cabinet Secretary is totally lying to you. Yoshiro Suga said Wednesday, another nine are missing. 9,000 are unaccounted for. No one is telling you. Some 75,000 responders have been deployed. To an area to search and rescue operations, Suga warned the thunderstorms and landslides could hinder operations in almost 27% of the entire country. As we report on catastrophic destruction globally, we only started the channel a year ago. <laughs> Let me remind you, the uptick is epic. We've had... 1,000-year, 500-year flood events in almost half of the continents and half of the countries on the globe. That's, all, that's about half. Whew. Worldwide seismic update. Kilauea is continuing to explode. Uh, there is no stopping what's happening here. As predicted, 5.3 volcanic eruption on the 26-hour periodicity. Japan has had multiple 5.0s out here. One at 38.9 kilometers. And the mid-Indian Ridge has quieted. We would expect an uptick in Mayotte anytime soon. And we have a... Uh, here we have a little boomer. Coming out. 5.2 North Ascension. Let's look at it. So still rocking off the shore there. 4.9 Southwest Indian Ridge. That, that flurry has come to an end, thankfully. God knows what was happening down there. No other course of note. We're waiting for the big one. It's going to happen 
if you were listening to the radio show in the winter of 2019 or thereabouts. And if you watch the show, you'll understand why. Yesterday I was talking about the Kilauea caldera becoming the largest caldera on Earth that's active. And here USGS giving us the time lapse to prove the exact thing I was talking about. This is a time lapse of the caldera through June into July. You can see, just watch right here in the front, the subsidence happening there. And now what that is, is representing is the amount of lava that is now emanating out of fissure eight. So as this floor drops, that's the lava being squished out of fissure eight. And there is no end in sight for the squishing out of lava in fissure eight. I can assure you that. Thanks for this footage, USGS. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. We are. There is some knowledge there. A lot of downgrading, but some hella good pictures. An Arctic heat wave pushed temperatures in Siberia anomalously high. <clears throat> Guys, I want to show you. This is coming out from courts. This headline used to say pushed temperatures 80% above normal. And then if you come down to the bottom, here you see the correction. The article and text and the headline previously stated that the heat wave had pushed the Arctic temperatures 80% higher than usual when measured in Fahrenheit. In fact, it was wrong um, because there are both relative temperature scales and the absolute rise was only 8%. And then they say, the error, however, does not mean that we're not all burning up. <laughs> These frauds. Let's look at the Arctic heat wave. Following 2016 and 2017, 2018 is likely to going to be the hottest ever in the world. Already the first six months have set the hottest records in the world, according to these liars. Now come down here. The first six months of 2018 ranked as the 14th warmest on record. Man, the 14th warmest. When this kits the 28th warmest, I think you should be fired. But you should probably be fired when you're saying we're burning up at the 14th warmest. Yeah, you're fired. You're fired. And that's a boom. Weather warning, Earth approaching prolonged solar minimum, sparking fears of cold shock. There has now been 100 days in 2018 which the sun does not have a sunspot, leading researchers to believe the Earth should brace itself for prolonged periods of coldness. Whew. Someone's picking up what we're putting down. And we like it. Guys. You are here. And when you go down these lines, the empire ends. That means don't pay your fucking student loan, you idiot. You're not getting a job anyway. <laughs> Just a fraction of sunspots have littered our host star this year as Earth heads into the solar minimum much earlier than expected. Experts had anticipated. <laughs> well, we anticipated it. I guess we're better than experts. And that's a boom. Scientists capture breaking of glacier in Greenland. A team of scientists has totally fear-mongered and captured a video of a four-mile iceberg breaking away from the glacier in eastern Greenland, an event that points to the most catastrophic sea level rise in Al Gore history. Whew. Unfortunately, sea level falls now. This is what happens on that green line that we are now falling down on sea level falls now and even though this alarmist nonsense from nyu was published ben davidson picked up what we're putting down and showed us some info this morning if you watch the update from the woods hole oceanographic institution follow the fresh water fingerprint of ancient abrupt climate change found in the arctic 
It's true. A research team led by Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution found the fingerprint of a massive flood of fresh water into the Western Arctic through to be the, thought to be the cause of the ancient cold snap that began 13,000 years ago. This abrupt climate change known as the Younger Dryas entered 1,000 years of warming. Huh. 1,000 years of warming. Okay. And then, and then an abrupt drop. All right, okay. And what, why was that? Oh, because of the huge influx of fresh water from melting ice sheets. So that's what happens. Let's go over to Greenland. Here we are at the surface ice mass budget. And you can see in our entire record collecting time, Greenland is totally melting throughout our entire historical record collecting. And you can see today, Greenland is not melting like it has historically. It's building rapidly. And when you build glaciers, calving occurs. When calving occurs, fresh water gets injected into the ocean. In fact, we're now breaking records today. We've just exceeded the gray area and we have now exceeded. We are beyond the gray area. We are in unknown territory on the Greenland ice sheet. As we rapidly build ice, it calves fresh water into the ocean. And that means we are entering the ice age. Here's the most amazing graphic. Look at these little squiggly pinks. Your mind is exploding right now with knowledge. Yes, it's true. Prior proper planning prevents piss poor performance. Thank you, Tim. Boom. Everyone's getting the knowledge. Now here's the Gulf Stream. As Greenland builds ice, as it did back in the Younger Dryas, the fresh water cooling, the AMOC totally shuts down the system. Whew. Now, <clears throat> we'll talk about that in more detail. These anti-aging pills look like they're actually working. This is Torque One. The pills act on an aging related pathway called Torque One. Now in cell biology, according to the International Journal of Science Nature, the Torque One pathway is what causes you to get old. It causes protein destruction. And if you just pay like $600, 200 right here, you can read it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, we're not reading that, but these pills look like they're actually working. And now what they're doing, they're actually giving them to people 65 and older and they're boosting their immune system and they're looking younger. And every other species other than human that they've given this pill to, the animals all lived longer. So it's true. This is it. How much will it cost? Let's check it out. The oldest tools outside of Africa found rewriting human history. 2.1 million years old. And these are clearly tools. And we started farming just 5,000 years ago. Please homeschool. Hey, Tim. Thanks for picking up what we're putting down. Not only that, he picked up a hoodie. The seven piece hoodie in forest green. And no, we're not leaving. Tim, you look awesome. No, we're not leaving. Yeah, we'll leave. Check out the back. Oh, we just missed it. Oh, hope you got something out of the video. It's getting late. And the cosmic rays are increasing. It may have something to do with that. I'm getting a little fuzzy. I hope you're preparing. We love you.